This is a short video to explain the basic purpose of the Veg Machine PC software. Now, Veg Machine was first developed in 2002 and it's since undergone a number of improvements. Several parties have contributed to these improvements and you can see most of them listed here on the splash screen that appears when you open Veg Machine. There's a number of satellite image data sets that measure changes in vegetation cover over time. Historically though, these data sets have been difficult to effectively access unless you have the appropriate training and software for the job. Veg Machine was developed to get around these problems and it allows you to choose an area of interest and see how cover has changed in that area over time. The example I'll show you today is from the Wombiana Grazing Trial near Charters Towers in Queensland. Here on the left you can make out the boundaries of some of the paddocks in the trial. You can also see this blue polygon. It marks the boundary of the grazing exclosure paddock. This paddock has not been grazed since 1997. So what can Veg Machine tell us about how ground cover has changed in this paddock over time? A typical Veg Machine analysis ties together three pieces of information. A cover change history for an area of interest, a cover change history for a relevant benchmark area, and a knowledge about local management and climate history. So let's now walk through these three steps in an analysis of the Wombiana grazing exclosure. Firstly, we have this polygon here that we will use to indicate our paddock of interest. To see the history of cover change in that paddock, we simply press the plot graph button. A couple of asides here about the graph. The data I'm using in this video is the city's ground cover data. There is a link at the end of the video about it if you want more information, but basically it measures ground cover as a percentage of area. So, for example, 90% ground cover means 10% of the ground is bare and the rest is covered in either organic material or rocks. Also, you'll notice the cursor appears as a large black square when I move it over the graph. Uh, my apologies for that, I can't seem to change it, but it's an issue with the recording software I'm using and it's not what actually appears on the Veg Machine screen. Now getting back to our example, the blue time trace here shows average cover inside the paddock between winter 2000 and winter 2012. And over that period, average cover has fluctuated between 83 and 99%. So that's the first piece of information in the analysis, a history of ground cover change in our area of interest. And while that's interesting, it's not very informative because it tells us that cover is changing through time, but it doesn't tell us why. Are these changes driven by climate, by management, or by both? To work that out, we need the second piece of information, a relevant local benchmark to compare this line with. There are a number of options that are available to us in Veg Machine, but today we'll use the median cover for the Cape Campaspe catchment. This paddock is a part of that catchment, so we display the benchmark like so. Now we have the benchmark displayed, and it shows the median ground cover for the catchment. What that means is that at any point in the time series, half of the catchment has an amount of ground cover above the level of this line, and half of the catchment has an amount of ground cover below the level of this line. Now with the graph plotted, at least three stories become visible. The first of these is the big seasonal fluctuations across the catchment. Cover is lowest in the middle of the time series and higher at either end. This low corresponds to the impact of the mid-2000s drought and these highs here and here to the wetter conditions before and after. We can also see it's a pattern largely repeated in our paddock. Low cover here in the mid-2000s and higher cover levels here and here when conditions are wetter. So we can say that the low end cover we see in our paddock here is probably mostly driven by climate because it's reflected by the entire catchment. Now that's a climatic effect on ground cover at our site, but we can also use Veg Machine to see two local management effects as well. The first of these is the impact of zero grazing pressure, shown here by the consistent difference between the two lines. For pretty much the whole time series, our exclosure has a lot more cover than the catchment, and this is because the catchment is mostly grazed and the exclosure is not. A second management impact is also visible here, with this recent drop in ground cover. Just prior to this date, the exclosure was burnt out. So that greatly reduced ground cover and the fact that this is a smaller local impact is shown by the fact that the pattern is not repeated across the entire catchment. So there's an example of how Veg Machine can tell a land manager not only where the ground levels are changing, but more importantly help them identify if and when it is their management rather than the climate that is driving those longer term changes. 
I mentioned earlier that three pieces of information go into the veg machine analysis. I've discussed two of those now and the third of these is local knowledge. Cover histories like we see in this graph are hard to interpret without local knowledge of management and climate. So the graph I discussed in this video makes a lot more sense because we know about the climate, the grazing and the fire history of the paddock. Now that's important for land managers because it makes their local knowledge a critical part of using this technology and it gives them a real role in making the system work on their properties if they want to pick it up and use it. So that's Veg Machine in a nutshell. It's a simple tool. It gives grazing land managers easy access to a great deal of monitoring information for their land and its history. If you have any questions about Veg Machine, here's a link and that'll take you to more information on the software. And for Queensland users of the software, keep an eye out here for further videos on the specifics of operating the software.